Hey everybody, Fred Saunders here from Team Next View with the weekly market update. So some statistics came out today, in fact, about um, existing home sales for the month of June. Uh, nationally, they're down about 1.7%, which is a huge dip from what the projections were. Locally, in our microclimate here in Sacramento, El Dorado, Placer counties, um, we're not necessarily seeing that. There's a lot of activity, a lot of uh, um, resale homes um, coming and going on the market. So for our home buyers out there, there is uh, still a tremendous amount of opportunity to take advantage of the low rates right now. So give us a call. We'll make sure that we can help you do that. But I also wanted to take a moment to tell you a little bit about the way to structure an offer in some cases. I have a client right now that wants a specific payment range. And she also wants to maintain her liquidity. So she doesn't want to give up too much of the savings for a down payment. And oftentimes, where you're looking in a neighborhood, the purchase prices make it a challenge to do that. Keep the payment in the range, but also maintain some post-close liquidity, we call it, so that you have some money to buy furniture and paint the house and window coverings and the like. And we all know that those things happen when you are now a homeowner. So we got together with our real estate partner for this client and put together a proposal where, where maybe the offer was slightly higher than the asking price. And fundamentally, some people have an issue with that. But once we painted the picture of what the benefit was, the borrower understood that it was a way to maintain both things for her. So with the higher purchase price, although her payment went up slightly, it was still within her comfort range. In exchange for offering a little bit more, we got a, a, the seller to give us a contribution, a significant contribution, that lowered our borrower's out-of-pocket expense because of the closing costs were being paid for by the seller. So now what we have is a mirrored payment that, that they find attractive and the ability to keep some money in their bank account after they acquire the property. It's not rocket science. It's certainly not reinventing the wheel, but it is a strategy that may not have been presented to you in the past. So if you're in that spot where you need a little bit of creative ideas to kind of um, you know, squeeze the the nut, so to speak, give us a call.